Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today I have a radio navigation unit from a Jeep Cherokee, and I'm going to be taking it apart to see how it works and what's inside. On the back here, you can see there are some various connectors. In the main connector here, you can see the larger pins for power, and the smaller pins for communication and other signals. Over here is a micro USB, and I believe this would connect to a USB connector in the center console of the vehicle, so you can plug in your phone or use it to play music. These two connectors right here are antenna connectors, so these would connect to the antennas. Now there are some screws on here, and I'm going to take those out. Okay, now this is the aluminum cover. You can see we have some sort of module here and some RF shielding for some other components and the connector here. Let's just take this module off. You can see it has pins that would connect it directly into here. So it would be a board to board connection. Now this module is for the satellite radio, so let's take the cover off. Okay, here's the back of the board. You can see it says Sirius XM on here, that's the satellite radio company. Now I'm going to try to open this up more. Okay, now here's the board that was inside. You can see there's a Texas instrument controller on there and some other chips. So this board would be processing things for the satellite radio. Now over here this connector actually just comes off and it's actually screwed down. You can see where the screws would go through and clamp it down. So here is the main board. Now this chip over here would have been sandwiched in between the two pieces of aluminum and I believe this is actually the amplifier chip for the speakers in the car. Now I don't see any screws holding this on, but before we do take it out, I have to undo this connector here. And it looks like it should just come out. Okay, there we go. There's the back side of the board. You can see the board to board connectors. These would connect the two boards together. There's not much on the other side besides that one controller. Now in here we have like a plastic frame and another board under it. So this black piece of plastic just pops up. There's some snaps holding it in. and it just comes out like this. Now I'm going to undo these ribbon connectors and separate this piece from this piece. Now in here we can see the board. Now on here you can see there are some memory chips and the main processor. This processor would be processing all the data that goes through this unit. This chip would also have the graphics and navigation interface programmed onto it. So that would be doing most of the computing in this unit. It's not very much on the other side. You can see this little mark that they made where the CPU actually makes contact and the aluminum frame acts as a heat sink, cooling the chip down. You can also see here, this looks like a testing port for testing the unit. Okay, now here's the rest of it. This has the display and button assembly, and it looks like there's another board under this steel bracket.
Now this bracket is not wanting to come off, so I think there's some snaps down here that are holding it in. Okay, now that I've undone the snaps, this steel bracket will come off. Now I believe this board would control the lighting for the buttons and the basic touch screen functions. So there's a few ribbon connectors. This one goes directly into the board. This one goes to the display. Okay, now this circuit board should come up. This might have some snaps on it too. Yeah, this has some snaps. Okay, there it goes. Okay, here's the board. It's a very simple board. You can see the contacts for the buttons and the LEDs. Just a few capacitors and other components. Not much to it. Okay, now in here we have the display and the rubber pieces for the buttons. Then there's these extra rubber pieces here that don't have any buttons connected to it. It's kind of strange. They're on both sides. So this might actually just help hold the screen in place by applying even pressure on the screen so it's held in place well. Okay, here's the display. You can see the few little wires for the touch screen. And there's a little control board right here and these connectors here for the backlight. Now in here you can see the plastic outer bezel with the buttons in the transparent plastic to let the light through in the bottom here. These here are the mounting brackets that would mount it into the dashboard. So this just about wraps up the teardown of the radio navigation unit from a Jeep Cherokee. Thanks for watching.